Okay, overall, pretty happy with that. Seven times five minutes, 60 seconds in between, as always, including the last rep, which you might have saw there. Just see what the heart rate is coming down to, because what I would have seen there is the heart rate is getting, it's getting a little bit gradually harder because of heart rate drift, because it's 30 degrees, probably 32 degrees in this, in this uh, gym and you, the treadmill is right in front of the window. So the heat you can feel, even over here, it feels cooler. Uh, so I think improvement points, you know, get, got to get a fan in here. And it's the still air, it doesn't matter what the AC is saying, it's the still air that's gonna sort of cook you. Uh, so get a fan um, and I, you know, clearly, I've been doing back recently to sort of improve my posture. And it, it won't stop the biceps from working and so I, I feel as if I've got upper body weight. That I can get rid of, which is going to make me lighter for the race and just uh, lighter for the training as well, and then therefore recovering quicker. Um, but recently, I've been working with 20 minutes of volume, then 24 minutes of volume, uh, and then up to 30 minutes of volume, and that was seven times five minutes of so 35 minutes of volume, and felt comfortable um, at that pace. A lot of the work that I've been doing recently has been up a hill, and that'll often be minimum 5%, usually 6 to 7%, up to 10%. And so I think probably the all-in run club, the 5K is all out, have, have probably helped recently, where I'm running at not top end speed, but uh, towards where I feel like I'm moving over the ground, I'm moving over fat, flat ground faster. Uh, so I, when you're working all of a sudden and all the effort is going on flat, especially if you've been dedicated to hills, which obviously is a bit of a niche, but you, you it, it, again, it's almost like a skill. It's like going fast for the first time. You need to get used to the skill. So the heart and lungs might be able to cope with it like they were able to cope with that session. But if your body is not used to going fast or on the flat, then your quads are gonna have problems. Your Achilles and your, your calves are gonna be hit in a different area. Your, your, your hamstrings are working differently. So you've gotta look after your body as, as well as, you can't just kind of, the engine can't just take it so you go all out. It's like having a big engine in a, in a, a Ford Focus or something like that is maybe a bad example, but in a bad car and therefore, you, you know, it's not gonna be able to handle it, it's just gonna fall apart. Exactly the same concept. So I'm just gonna move me over there. Right, so what we're looking at here on Strava is seven times five minutes. So we're looking at the mountains and we're looking at the valleys. And is the heart rate coming down? Are we recovering well enough in between? And what, what are we getting up to? For me, this was going into it, it was a zone three session where I'm pushing the body, but it's all under my control. Why? Because I want this to be almost like a skill session. It's me getting used to marathon pace and a, a little bit slower than marathon pace before I start building this volume up. And as I said recently, 20 minutes of volume, then 24 minutes of volume, 30 minutes of volume. And so 35 minutes of volume today is more than a 10% jump on the previous week. So I've got to look after myself here a little bit, which is why the heart rate is not wild. So you're seeing 164, 167, I think we went up to in the, in the first rep. Um, why? How, the warm-up was long, so 14, 15 minutes. Uh, I wanted to be prepared for this. Usually it's about 12 minutes for me. And then it sort of comes down the heart rate in the second because I'm used to it. I'm, I'm, getting, I'm getting ready for it and um, I know what to expect. And so 164, so nicely in zone three. 164 again. 163. 161. 165. And 164. So really, really good. And what I want to see there as well, like Strava is brilliant at showing you at a glance, but you can look under the bonnet, but cadence and um, stride length are a good indicator of how your body is getting fatigued over the session and where you sort of need to add strength and where you need to do a little bit more volume uh, or add a little bit more pace, it might be. So if I look at sort of averages here, we start in at... The cadence there, as you can see, is 176, well under 180, uh, or 176 to 178, and that's the same for the first three reps. And then all of a sudden, we start to hit 180 quite quickly. And what that means is just sort of within 16, 17 minutes, um, we've gone from 176, 178 to 180, 182. Not a great deal of difference, but if you think of that as a percentage and the amount of steps you're taking per minute, and these are five minute intervals, that's a big difference 
in 186 and starting from 176. So it's, you know, 5% or a bit more than 5%. What is actually happening there? And you'll see this over your runs. Like some of your heart rates will be going up like sort of a slant upwards. I expected a little bit more heart rate drift today, so I've ma I'm happy I've managed to keep the heart rate under control. But with the cadence, what we're able to do if we come over, and if quickly we look at the session, so for seven times five minutes, 35 minutes, and I've managed to spend just more than that in zone three, which is, which is brilliant. Um, but if we look at Garmin, we can look a little bit more under the bonnet, and and look at cadence and see what it's actually doing. And it's there for you to see that there's an upward trend, which means although the heart rate is well under control, the body has had to compensate for a lack of power in the glutes, in the hamstrings, and running at this pace by running more steps per minute. Um, temperature, pretty much the same. As you can see, it's hot. Even in the gym, it's hot. And so fan will be, be a big, difference, uh, 29 degrees pretty much all the way through, 28, 29, 28.8 degrees average. Um, so yeah, those are the things I'm looking at and it tells a story if you're able to consistently look at these things. And this is why I'll always say to you, like have 60 seconds as a rest because as I'm talking to the camera during that session, I'm not able to bring my heart rate down. So there's a, there's a rep here where it came well down to, I think maybe we're able to see it better on um, if we look at, how, if I look at that, I, I had to stop speaking to the camera, don't move the camera, don't talk to you guys, and get my heart rate under control because I wanted to see what it should be coming down to. I think it was something like 132, yeah. So, yeah, and, and then you can imagine the difference of recovering to 132 in a minute versus 143 slight difference but helped me stay in zone three for longer so that's roundabout I'm, I'm really really happy with that you can see the improvement areas more power needed and more tight that's essentially going to come from yes the weight session and building more powerful glutes which is happening all the time on a consistent basis but also time spent at marathon pace and faster so yeah really happy with that overall and at a glance you you can see a lot there